Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you an example of implicit differentiation that is a bit challenging. If two tangent inverse of x over y plus ln of x to the 2 plus y to the 2 equals 1, find dy over dx. So as you can see, we have a, an implicit relation between x and y, and we want to find dy over dx. So y is the function and x is the variable. As you know, for finding the derivative of a relation with the implicit differentiation method, we take the derivative of both sides of the relation with respect to the variable. And the variable is usually x. So we take the derivative of both sides of this relation with respect to x. But before we start, let me remind you the derivative formulas for tangent inverse and ln because we need these two rules here. Derivative of tangent inverse of x is 1 over 1 plus x to the 2. But this is only for tangent inverse of x. And if we have tangent inverse of an expression not x maybe a general expression or a function then the derivative would be 1 over 1 plus that expression to the 2 and of course because of the chain rule you have to multiply it by derivative of the inside or derivative of this expression here now let me remind you the derivative formula for ln. If you remember, the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. Very simple. But if you have ln of an expression, its derivative is 1 over that expression times by derivative of the inside or derivative of the expression here. Now that we know the form necessary formulas for finding the derivative of this implicit relation, let us start. Let me rewrite the relation here again. We have this relation 2 tangent inverse of x over y plus ln of x to the 2 plus y to the 2 equals 1. And we want to find dy over dx. The 2 here is a coefficient, so we put the 2 here. Derivative of tangent inverse, as I mentioned here, is 1 over So it's 1 over 1 plus x over y to the 2. This is the derivative of tangent inverse. But don't forget, you have to multiply this by derivative of the inside. Derivative of x over y. For finding derivative of x over y, we have a quotient, we have a fraction. We use the quotient rule. So let me remind you the quotient rule when we have f over g derivative of that is derivative of numerator times by denominator minus numerator times by derivative of denominator all over denominator to the 2 so derivative of x over y is Derivative of numerator, derivative of x is 1 times by y minus, write the numerator times it by derivative of denominator all over denominator to the 2. Now we have to find derivative of ln of x to the 2 plus y to the 2. Derivative of ln of x is 1 over x derivative of ln of a function is 1 over that function so derivative of ln of 
x to the 2 plus y to the 2 is 1 over x to the 2 plus y to the 2 times by derivative of the inside derivative of the expression in the bracket derivative of x to the 2 is 2x and derivative of y to the 2 is 2yy two y prime and derivative of right side is simply 0 now let's simplify this answer here let's multiply the numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator and don't forget we have a two outside in of the bracket so we have two times by in the numerator we have y minus x y prime one times by this would be this but what about the denominator if you look carefully here look at this expression here this is basically 1 plus x2 over y2 we can write x over y to the 2 as x to the 2 over y to the 2 now what happens if we multiply this y to the 2 here by this this we have to multiply denominator by denominator what is y to the 2 times by this let me write it here so we want to multiply 1 plus x to the 2 over y to the 2 by y to the 2 y to the 2 times 1 is y to the 2 y to the 2 times by this fraction y2 and y2 cancel each other only x to the 2 remains so when we multiply the denominators we get this so the denominator which we have to write here is x to the 2 plus y to the 2 so in the denominator we have only x to the 2 plus y to the 2 now let's see what we have here again if we put this on the, in the numerator of this attention the denominator of this is one one times by the denominator numerator times by numerator then we have 2x plus 2y y prime over x to the 2 plus y to the 2 equal 0 if you look at the two fraction that here we have you can notice that the denominators are the same so we can add these two fraction to each other simply because the denominators are already the same so let me write one denominator and we want to add the numerators here we have 2y minus 2xy prime don't forget to multiply these two by these and two by this and then we have plus 2x plus 2y y prime equal zero now look at this we have a fraction equal to zero when a fraction is equal to zero immediately we can conclude that the numerator of the fraction should be zero attention in general when we have an expression over another expression and it equals zero immediately we can conclude that a is zero because a fraction is zero only when the numerator of the fraction is zero so so here 
we can say that the numerator which is this should be equal to zero if I keep these two here and I move the 2x and 2y to the other side because remember we want to find y prime we are doing all of this for finding dy over dx or y prime so in the left we have negative 2xy prime plus 2yy prime and in the right we have negative 2x and negative 2y if we factor y prime in the left then we have negative 2x plus 2y in the right we have negative 2x minus 2y and finally y prime is negative 2x minus 2y over negative 2x plus 2y y prime is negative 2x minus 2y over negative 2x plus 2y but actually we can simplify this answer a little if we factor a negative 2 from numerator and a negative 2 from denominator then we have this if we cancel negative 2 from numerator with negative 2 from denominator finally y prime is x plus y over x minus y or dy over dx equals x plus y over x minus y so y prime or dy over dx is x plus y over x minus y and this is the derivative of this implicit relation i hope you like this video and see you in the next videos